since its inception in 1969. ISRO has sent an orbiter to Mars. Discovered water on the surface of the moon. Placed 104 satellites in orbit, in just one rocket. Created India's own navigation system, NAVIC. Made their own reusable launch vehicle back in 2016. And currently has two orbiters around the moon. With all that said and done, ISRO has some very ambitious plans for the next 10 years. Let's take a closer look. Crewed Mission Next year in 2023, ISRO will carry out two uncrewed missions. The objective of these missions is to understand and gather maximum data on an orbital flight. Once completed successfully, ISRO will conduct India's first crewed space flight, sometime in 2024. Moon Lander and Rover after a failed attempt to land on the surface of the moon in 2019 due to a last-minute glitch, ISRO will once again attempt a soft landing in 2023. Chandrayaan-3 will carry a lander and a rover to explore the lunar surface. Venus and Mars To explore Venus's harsh environment, ISRO will be launching Shukra-Yaan-1 mission by the end of 2024. This will be India's first mission to Venus. This will be followed by India's second orbiter to Mars, sometime in 2025. SpadeX. This is where it gets really interesting. SpadeX stands for Space Docking Experiment. Sometime in 2025, ISRO will launch two satellites in slightly different orbits. One would be Chaser, and other being Target. The Chaser satellite will attempt docking the Target satellite. But why are they doing this? Well, it's not just to understand formation flying and spacecraft control. There's something bigger behind the curtain. In the next 10 years, India aims to have its own space station in orbit. The space station will be used to conduct experiments that are not possible on Earth. SpadeX is an early step in that direction. If done successfully, it will give ISRO enough confidence to put a larger space station in the orbit. 